2016 Mayhemies, we are back with yet another category. This time, Tag Team of the Year. Tag Team of 2015. Uh, let's start with Chris LaRusso. Um, I thought that the Tag Team of the Year, without a shadow of a doubt, and I'm going off the, uh, well, not really going off the beaten path. They, they've been long considered one of the top tag teams in the world, but uh, i got to go with the Young Bucks. Uh, this year was absolutely uh, huge for them. The Bucks signed with Ring of Honor, were uh, mainstays at New Japan, uh, New Japan World Junior Tag Team Champions, uh, phenomenal matches with Red Dragon, phenomenal matches uh, in six mans with AJ Styles as a, as a part of the Bullet Club. Uh, the, the super kick party uh, has never been wilder, and it looks like that the party's not going to stop anytime soon. Uh, I can see the Bucks just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, I got to, to see them live uh, not too long ago at, at Remix Pro Wrestling. Absolutely. It's one of those experiences where you, you can watch all the matches. You can watch what they've done at PWG, New Japan, Ring of Honor, but until you see it live, it is, it is something else. Phenomenal year for the Bucks. Excellent. Joe Dombrowski. Um, and, and, yeah, I, I echo support for the Bucks, and, and I think um, another major thing in their favor is their ability to self-market and their ability to brand themselves without a machine behind them. And, and I'll be the first to say, I don't agree with everything the Bucks have done. Well, you're not going to give me a two not. I don't want to get sued. Oh. <laughs> I don't agree with everything the Bucks have done. Uh, uh, you know, there's, there's a traditional side of me. There's a pure side of me. Sometimes it makes me a little bit perturbed. But uh, the beauty of it is the people are talking and people have a point of view. And that's, that's the, the bottom line uh, uh, when you're in this business. So you're saying people... Larissa stole your answer is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm saying he didn't explain it as well as I could. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Shots fired. Now we're having fun. Super and, kick. And there's a lot of the great teams. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the Usos. Um, sometimes I'm a fan of the New Day, but I, I can't pick the New Day because I don't know what I'm supposed to think they are. Uh, they were fan favorites, and we booed them. They were heels, and we cheered them. Uh, uh, now they're in a weird gray area where I'm not sure how I'm supposed to feel about them. Um, so I'm going to go with Red Dragon. I'm going to go with Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, they traveled a lot of the same roads as the Young Bucks. They're very successful in Ring of Honor. They're very successful in New Japan, uh, IWGP Junior Tag Title Reigns. Um, I'm a huge fan of Kyle O'Reilly. I think Kyle is one of the most underrated talents anywhere in this business today. And I think, and I'm going to go out on a limb here, and, and, and this may seem hyperbolic, but I think Kyle O'Reilly is pretty close to a blueprint of, of the next generation of a pro wrestler because he can combine the believability uh, and the, to use a, uh, 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 I don't know if it's a George Bush term or if it's just a, uh, or, 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 if it, or if I took it from a, a George Bush spoof, but to use the strategy of, of mixed martial arts, implement that into wrestling in a way where we're not doing uh, uh, flimsy, bogus MMA. We're, we still have credibility. We still have a, a logical story. It's, it still looks and feels organic. Uh, he can do that and stay true to his wrestling roots, and, mm -hmm. and it's not a case of one or the other. Bobby Fish is an amazing talker. Kyle has a great, dry, uh, uh, either uh, charming or annoying wit about him, depending on what he wants to do. So they have the entertainment. They're aspect not mutually exclusive. Well. No, not at all, not at all. But Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, Red Dragon, um, right up there with the Bucks as far as my favorite team to watch. And I like that pick because we had Bobby Fish, as you know, in, in uh, IWC with us for a while. Absolutely. Uh, not this year, but for the past, you know, the year or two before that. And um, and they can watch a lot of him on DVD and digital, courtesy of Sorgatron Media. Yes, right? at IWCWrestling.com. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> Plug. 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 They have a search engine on there, I think. Sword. A search engine? You can actually search oh on goodness. his website. Yes, he's got like, uh, just type in Bobby website Fish. Website right it. here. Come on, do it. He me. actually did a lot of cool <laughs> stuff uh, with us, and, and he's only gotten better since. So, mm -hmm. um, And I think you guys are both kind of like right where you need to be, as you got to almost look outside of the WWE now for uh, the tag team of the year, because there's not a lot going on there. There's not a lot of consistency. There's a lot of just guys thrown together to team. 
Uh, to your point with the New Day, I'd even take it a step further. You know, you said we don't know what they are. You boo them when they're supposed to be cheered. You cheer them when they're supposed to be booed. I don't even know what they're doing half the time they're out there. It's like they're, they're just goofing off. They have, they're, they're just got inside jokes going on. Uh, I, can't, I can't stand watching those guys. And the fact that Virgil wants to be a part of them now, too, can't make anybody happy because, well, it's Virgil. Is, is, yeah? is, that, is that Virgil or one of his talking heads? That's Virgil. Okay. Oh, that's Virgil, yeah. He's a, he's a personal buddy of mine. So. I see. Um, Dear close personal longtime friend. <laughs> longtime friend. We go back like 11 months. Uh, but I'm going to stick with the big dogs just to give the more mainstream fans uh, an option if they're only voting on what we pick. I don't know what we're doing here. But <laughs> That's all right. Nobody does. That. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're, we're doing. This is the format? We're viable nominations for the 2016 <laughs> Mayhem East. Uh, I, I gotta, I'm going to go with any combination of the Wyatt family simply because of the role that they got to play this year. I mean... They got, they got to do the Undertaker's anniversary show as his opponent, which, although the match was kind of predictable and, and standard, it, it was a huge, to me, a huge honor for them to get to step in there and watching a guy from the area, uh, Luke Harper, get to go in there and, and work with the Undertaker on such a big moment. It was just a very, very important moment in wrestling history. Um, not an outstanding match, but, but to be chosen to do that I think is incredible. And says a lot for what the WWE thinks of the Wyatts. Also, uh, one of the more popular angles lately is the return of the ECW originals. Uh, Tommy Dreamer, Rhino, the Dudley Boys, which, I mean, these guys are still getting huge pops when they come out. And when's the last time they were on WWE TV? It's been a while uh, since they've been on national television. But you so. can see them locally uh, just in the last year. Where, where, where oh, yeah, at IWC, uh, yeah, yeah, IWCWrestling.com, yeah. IndieWrestling.us. Uh, Rhino and Dreamer all over the place, of course. But um, it's great right to there, see, right again, the Wyatts involved with that. There you go. <laughs> the Wyatts involved with that. So they, they have been given the ball. And I know they haven't held titles, and I know they're not involved, you know, they're, they're not doing the types of things worldwide that the guys that you mentioned are doing. But they are on national television, and they are, they've been given the ball multiple times this year, and I think they've done great with it. So it'll be exciting to see where they go. Are they going to keep these guys together? Are they going to try to push Bray on the singles run again? I don't know, but, uh, but it's exciting so far, and I think uh, a lot of what they've done is, is really spectacular. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Done, done with those plugs? Do, do we want another one? How many I more? Mean, at more IWC Kevin? Wrestling. <laughs> What's we've your got player? a lot of videos I mean, to go. At Chris LaRusso. <laughs> this is shameless. Plugs. I didn't even mention once that I booked Luke Harper against Kevin Nash on a pay-per-view main <laughs> event that's in the upcoming Prime Cuts DVD series. I bet LaBar was there. He was. Uh -huh. where, where could you and, get that, that prime cut? Uh, Ninety degree weather in his leather jacket. Uh huh. Yeah, he does that. Uh, Sorgatron Media uh, in IndieWrestling.us prime cut series. Fantastic, folks. Go to these those URLs and also head over to WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can vote for the stuff that these guys are talking about right here. We don't probably. remember what we said. Um, Who did I think? <laughs> these are. The jumping me. bomb angels. These yes. And Fear the me. glamour oh, girls. <laughs> oh my god. Come oh, on. Have, Let's start we over. We should have women's tag team of Mayhemies the year. classic. We should. Yep. We should do that. Keep your eye on wrestlingmayhemshow.com and keep your eye on this video channel. We have more coming up. Uh, so stick around. I pick Ole Andrew.